so this is JD uh, from JD's Creative. I am going to show you today in this little quick video how I seal and finish the alcohol ink um, paintings that I produce. Somebody has asked on my previous video, so I thought I would do a really quick tutorial. So earlier this evening, I did this alcohol ink painting and the light in my garage is really not that great, but you can catch, um, I hope you can see it in the video, the little gold details. And so we don't want anything to happen to those little details. So I am gonna show you how I do that. Okay, couple of products. Um, first one is Krylon. UV archival. This one is a matte finish. It is non-yellowing, protects against fading, dirt, moisture, and discolorations. Contains superior level of UV light absorbers and stabilizers. Removable for conservation purposes and protects acrylic, watercolor, oil pastel, colored pencil, oil, and more. Alcohol ink being the more. This is just another kind, it's just a gloss, and I think it also comes in a satin. The other thing I have is Kmar varnish. It also is non-yellowing protection for oil, acrylic, and watercolor. It keeps a fresh from the palette look, acid-free, allows easy rework, and it's free um, from impurities. So, um, and then one last one that I have that I use sometimes is Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch. And this one is, uh, oh, that's the French side. Um, also bonds to plastic. This is a clear gloss, seals, protects, and revitalizes. Fast drying, non-yellowing, and UV resistant. The UV resistant is important because with alcohol inks, they can fade. So you want to spray several light layers of these products. Now I am going to use the mat because this one is has been used. This one is pretty new and I only brought it out to show you the different kinds. This one has been used and shooken a few times. So, to demonstrate, really quick, light, even strokes. So, and I would leave that for about five or ten minutes, and then I would come back in and do another. quick coat. I would do three, trois, tres coats. Then I would come back and do three light, even coats of the Kmar varnish. Why would I use both? Because this one is a varnish and this one is the UV protectant. From all the tutorials I have ever watched, this is how people do it. When I'm out of these two products in a pinch, I will use the Rust-Oleum, but it is not my favorite. So this is the products that I'm using. This is how I am applying them. Oh yeah. I got to go clean my hands. So you guys have a great night. I will show you this in my next video, how I mount it onto a wood panel. So if you like this video and you thought it was informative, please tap the like and hit the bell and you will see, oh, and you might as well subscribe while you're doing all that. You'll see my next video. Thanks for watching JD's Creative. This is JD. Peace out.